Hello everybody. In this video, I want to show you how to install NeoVim in three different ways from pre-compiled binaries that you can download and simply use using a package manager, specifically apt for Ubuntu, and from source code. All right, let's get to it. As I mentioned, my system is Ubuntu 2204. So let's get started. The first step for the first method, we can copy the link and download the file wget-c. And it should take only a minute depending on your internet connection. All right, we have the pre-compiled binary. I, I only need to extract the contents and then I can start using NeoVim right away. Star XPF and Vim, CD and Vim. And ne NeoVim should be right here and Vim. There you are, version 0.9.4. I already have a, an installation of NeoVim uh, with all its configuration. That's why this looks a little different from the default screen when you install a brand new version of Vim. But this is how you do it. You see, now, if, if I didn't have NeoVim installed, I could move this directory to, let's say, user vim bin for example sudo mv and vim then us usr user local let's say and vim and then you only have to add that directory to your path or create a symbolic link and there you go you can start using neovim all right now let's take a look at the second method. This is very simple, although it will depend on your distribution. Okay, not, not that, not Mac. Uh, all right, Linux. App image, I'm not gonna focus on that. It's pretty simple. Let's go with Ubuntu. I don't see Ubuntu here. I mean, it's the same as Debian. <clears throat> But just in case, let me confirm there is no, there are no explicit instructions for Ubuntu. All right, yeah. So you simply have to do sudo apt install neovim. Okay, as you can see, it is available. However, I'm not gonna do it because I already have one version. Usually the version in the, in the repository is not the latest version. So if you, if you don't mind using a slightly older version of NeoVim, you can do this. It's the easiest by far. All right, I'm gonna say now. And now I'm gonna show you how to install it from the source code. In the same wiki we were before, there is a link to this other wiki where we have to follow a few instructions to install it from the source code. The first step is to install a few dependencies. You might already have these packages, but just in case, let's try to install them. I already have them, so I'm good to go. Let me close this. All right, the next step is to download the source code. This will take a while because it's downloading the entire history of the project and that's a lot of content. Once we have the source code, we have to move into the NeoVim directory and in my case, at least, I will switch to the stable branch. I want to have one of the latest versions of NeoVim, but not necessarily something that is not stable. I don't wanna spend time debugging uh, issues. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do once I have the source code. This will take a while. 
we'll get back to this in a moment. All right, this is done. Let's keep going. So as I mentioned before, I'm gonna switch to the stable branch. CD near them get status get branch. As as you can see, we are in the master branch now. Let's run git checkout stable and rerun git branch. Okay, now we should be good to run this command cmake and the cmake parameter. I'm not exactly sure what that does. I'm just following the instructions in this case. What else? Okay, a few other options. We don't need them. Once, once the the make command is finished, we should be able to install uh, the package. Doing sudo make install. The default location is slash user slash local. I believe this will take some time as well, so. Let's wait a couple minutes. Okay, now we should be able to install the package. sudo apt install. Oh, sorry. Make install. And that's it. Let me see. 0 0.94. I don't remember which version I had before this. Probably the same. I installed NeoVim just a couple months ago. Anyways, this is how you install NeoVim from the source code. I recommend this method because you usually get the latest version. Alright, thank you everybody for watching. See you next time.